DJ ATV. NLC orders a total shutdown of Kaduna over Nasiru Airfine's sack of workers. Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location, the time at which this video got to you as well. A very big welcome to TGM TV Daily News Update, your one-stop channel for everything news happening all over the world. This is your first time of joining us, do not forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And please do stay with us to the end of this video because we have something interesting for you. Now let's take it to the main news. The Nigerian Labour Congress in Kaduna has said they are going to embark on a total uh, strike in the state, which includes a shutdown of major facilities across the state, which includes airports, fuel stations, universities, uh, especially the non-academic staff uh, union of universities, hospitals, schools, etc. Now, the Nigerian Labour Congress has ordered that associations that are affiliated with them should embark on a total strike until the Cardinal State Government reverts its decision to lay off over 7,000 workers in the state. Whilst giving the order, Comrade Ayuba Waba said that the following associations or unions will be shut down as well, which includes the National Union of Food, Beverages and Tobacco Employees, Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees, Nigeria Association of Nurses and Midwives, Nigeria Union of Electricity Employees, Nigeria Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers, Radio, Television and Theatre Arts Workers, Non-Academic Staff Unions of, of uh, Educational Institutions, Universities and Polytechnics, as well as Amalgamated Union of Public Corporations. Now, also, aside those associations that were announced, the Nigerian Labour Congress has also advised Keke Napep riders and Okada riders to ensure that they comply with this strike as it is for the good of everyone in Cardinal State. The Nigerian Labour Congress has said that it has asked the state governor of Kaduna, Nasiru Erifai, to call off the proposed layoff of over 7,000 workers that it has intended to lay off from the Kaduna state government's uh, civil service. But um, the governor has said there is no going back on their decision. As, as such, the Nigerian Labour Congress has decided to go on a total shutdown of Kaduna State. Now, let's not forget that Kaduna State is uh, one of the major states that has been affected with this issue of insecurity, bandits and kidnapping and all, all of you. And now the Nigerian Labour Congress is saying they are going on a total strike in the state. Now, aside Keken Pep riders and, uh, you know, tricycles, airports have to be shut down as well as the Cardina Electricity Distribution Company. As a matter of fact, they have sent messages out and said that they're shutting down their uh, electricity transmission plants. Also, uh, because of this uh, strike action that has been declared, airports, like I said, will be shut down as well. This will restrict the movement of people in the state. The actual goal is to ensure that everybody sits at home and you know, observe the strike so as to pull the arms of the government of Cardinal State to call off the proposed, um, you know, layoff of over 7,000 workers. Now, as expected, the Cardinal State government will reply, but the NLC has said that 17th of May 2021 at 0 a.m., that's 12.01 a.m., the strike begins effective all over Kaduna State and we all know that uh, this issue of banditry and all of that is not something that the government is supposed to you know joke with but some persons have said if the government can say in the face of kidnap that they don't they're not going to pay any ransom money to any you know group of bandits and now the same government is saying that they are not going to stop the layoff of the, the, the workers it has proposed to lay off, then there's going to be big trouble in the state because it shows that the government of Katina State is strong-headed 
and not willing to bend to the will of the people. The Nigerian Labour Congress has said that the strike, which begins on the 17th of May 2021, is going to last for five days as a warning, and after which, if the government of Cardinal State still refuses to call off the sack of over 70 workers, then they will go on an indefinite strike. The Cardinal State government reacted to this strike by warning the Nigerian Labour Congress to be rightly guided. They have said that the Trade Act Union clearly states that they cannot go uh, on strike. In fact, the, the, Trade Act Union, the Trade Union Act says they are against strike actions by workers that provide essential services. Now, it has said that since uh, the, uh, the outbreak of the COVID-19 in 2020, that uh, level, uh, workers below grade level 14 have been working from home and uh, while workers in, uh, from grade level 14 and above have been you know resuming their work respectively in their offices and has advised them to continue with their job so that they don't lose their job they've also said that the law forbids subjecting any other person to any kind of restriction of personal freedom for the sake of strike action they also said uh, the Cardinal State was going to protect its facility and the right of its staff to assess and work in their office. Just the same way they did in 2017, the Cardinal State government said uh, they're not going to change the subject or change the policy because of what they call a mob, the veto of a mob. That is what they have said in their statement. Furthermore, they said that the Trade Union Act is not an avenue for irresponsibility. They are calling the strike action of the Nigerian Labour Congress as an act of irresponsibility. But the Nigerian Labour Congress is saying they are only trying to protect the rights of their workers because laying off 7,000 workers is going to adversely affect the livelihood of these persons. What is the pension plan for these people? What other plans outside, you know, outside... After the, the layoff, what other plans do you have for them? The Cardinal State government has said they are going to give incentive for people to go into farming. But you and I know that presently in Cardinal State, people cannot even go to their farms because of this issue of banditry. And the, the, the Nasiru Erufai has said it will never give ransom to bandits over anyone that is being kidnapped. So he said anyone being kidnapped should just pray to God to come out safely or should prepare to go and meet his or creator. Now, they're also saying, Canada State government is also saying they are going to protect the rights of their workers as a matter of fact that the Nigerian Labour Congress cannot stop people from going to work. Everyone, especially those providing essential services, they should go to work. And the Nigerian Labour Congress is saying nobody is going to work. All those under uh, the different associations affiliated with the Nigerian Labour Congress should sit at home, observe the strike for the next five days. It is going to be a total shutdown. And if there's one thing common in Nigeria, whenever a strike action is, you know, is announced, it has, it's going to affect feeding, uh, you know, uh, transportation and the rest of that. We're going to expect a crazy rush at the market. And so, um, after this strike action, plan strike action was announced, people began to, you know, pressure buy. You know, everybody rushed to the market to stock their house with food stuffs while people tried to get enough fuel because the Cardinal State Electricity Distribution Company has said that in, that in line with the directive of the Nigerian Labor Congress that they are shutting down the electricity distribution plant in Cardinal State. And as such, there will be no light, no uh, uh electricity distribution from them everyone who has generator is expected to feel it and you know follow the happenings in the state i expect that people have taken to their social media pages to react to this strike action and the stand of the cardinal state government in a tweet governor nasiru erufai reacted to uh the planned strike action with the following words he said a uh, father of all hypocrites, Cardinal will wait for you all. The indivisible PDP and affiliates like the hypocritical NLC that is yet to implement the National Minimum Wage Act 2019 of his own employees. So there you have it. 
uh, Cardinal State Governor is throwing a shade at the NLC and the PDP, stating that they've been unable to implement the 2019 minimum wage uh, plan or act as it was, you know, laid out for them to do. He has said that he is paying the minimum wage and has the right to say that the money in the state will not be enough to go around all the workers. He has said many people are, are not supposed to be working. Most of their services are not needed. And as such, the government of Cardinal State is spending unnecessarily in the payment of salaries of workers whose services are really not important to the state. Now, he has said that... Um, he cannot pay the uh, the salary. He cannot spend the money of Cardinal State to pay the salaries of a, of a, a hundred thousand workers, for example. Whereas the remaining nine hundred thousand people of the state do not get anything from the money allocated to the state. So he has said it is better to serve the public with the money allocated to the state than uh, to to spend it all in the payment of salaries. This is his reason for laying off the over 7,000 workers in Cardinal State. So there you have it, guys. Nasiru El Rufa is still going ahead with his plans uh, sack of over 7,000 workers and the Nigerian Labor Congress, as we speak, has gone on a total strike in Cardinal State. What is going to be the fate of the common man in the face of this insecurity in Kaduna. These are the questions on the lips of people who have taken to social media to react to this strike. Many of them have said all those in you know crit all those in critical conditions, especially those in the hospitals, are now going to be their lives are going to be at risk. Why others are saying the plan strike action of the Nigerian Labor Congress is good because at the end of the day it's going to bet something new in Kaduna State. Some others have said that the shutdown of radio station, air spaces, gas station, uh, train stations, and all of that seems uh, goes a long way to prove that Nasir Erifa is not as powerful as he claims to be. Why some others have said, in this face of insecurity, shutting down the railway leading from Kaduna to Abuja, uh, that the uh, Kaduna Abuja Road is a no-go area. So everybody stay put, nobody travels. Let's all stay at home and see this drama. So the end so well guys there you have it what do you think about this uh, you know strike action the nigerian labor congress as we speak has embarked on a total shutdown of cardinal state is it a, a right step in the right direction what do you think about the the, the government of cardinal state's stand about this issue of laying down seven thousand workers now one would expect that with all the agitations going on they would say okay we cannot afford to leave everybody to work but okay because of your agitations we will decide to you know reduce the number of workers we're going to lay off from seven thousand to let's say maybe three thousand they should have come to a compromise don't you think so guys drop your comment in the comment section now thank you so much for staying with us till the end of this video do not forget to please like this video share subscribe and if you have not done so already, turn on the notification bell. So you'll be one of the first persons to know whenever we drop any new video on our channel. Do not forget to also like and follow us on all our social media uh, platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And check out our website at www.djmtv.news. But here, come your way again with another edition of DJM TV Daily News Update. I remain your host, Lawu Rufevo. DJ TV. DJ TV.